Hey everybody, Pastor Chad here with a quick update on our plans for Sunday gatherings in light of Contra Costa's move into the orange tier and in light of the updated guidance given to us from the state. I'm gonna announce two changes, two updates, one that's gonna take place this Sunday and then a much larger one that will Lord willing take place in June. So let me tell you about both of them. Starting this Sunday, uh, we are going to continue meeting outdoors, um, but in light of the county's updated guidelines, we are now going to make masks optional when you are seated. So uh, we're going to follow the county guidelines. We're going to keep doing that. So we're going to keep requiring masks when you show up. But from the moment you sit down and you're six feet apart from all the chairs around you, masks will now be optional. So I've heard from some of you that it's hard because your mask is fogging up. It's hard to engage. So now you can take your mask off while seated. And this is true even during the singing. So when you're standing at your seat, you will be able to sing. Masks optional. Um, but when you do leave your seat to go to the restroom or to leave, we do ask that you put your mask back on. Uh, masks will just be optional while we are at our chairs six feet apart from everyone else around us. And so um, I hope this change uh, really makes it so that you're able to engage in the gathering more fully and really make it a more enjoyable experience. Uh, the other change we're going to introduce this Sunday is we're going to start passing out physical lyrics at the welcome tent. So I've heard from some of you like, hey, I really miss the screen with the lyrics. I don't want to be on my smartphone during service. And so if that's where you're at, when you come to the welcome tent, to get your communion elements, you'll now be able to pick up physical lyrics there. We'll still have them online if you prefer the smartphone thing, but if you want them physically, they'll be available there. So starting this Sunday, uh, masks will be optional while seated in our socially distanced chairs. Uh, and then the second you get up, put it back on. Basically treat it like a restaurant. Wear your mask when you get here while seated. It's optional while worshiping and standing there. It's optional. But when you get up, put it back on to use the restroom or anything else. And then we'll have physical lyrics for you. And then if the vaccine rollout continues to go well, if hospitalizations stay down, then our plan is to move back indoors, back inside the building in June with masks 100% optional the whole time. Like from the time you get out of your car, the, the whole thing. Um, with not having to shut down pews, not putting in any crazy ventilation system, but with a real sense of normalcy, we might be able to return indoors in a couple of months in June. Now, I know some of you are gonna ask, why don't we go back inside today? But if we went back inside today, we'd have to shut down every other pew to ensure proper distancing. We'd have to keep masks on the whole time, singing and all. We'd have to do a crazy ventilation system that was very distracting last time. I think maybe even more distracting than the wind, frankly. Uh, and I'm just, I'm convinced that we can provide a better worship experience outdoors where we can uh, remove our masks while singing, while we can fit everyone together under the oak tree and not have to kind of divide up because our space is so limited indoors. Um, I'm convinced we can do a better experience outdoors uh, during the next two months. Um, but June, it's close. By every indication, it seems that we'll be in a position where we can move back indoors at that time. Vaccine rollout is going strong. It's now available to all adults in our county. So by June, that vaccine will have had its full effect um, and we should be able to return with some sense of normalcy. So uh, we're gonna keep monitoring the situation. So stay tuned for updates to get details as we get closer, but we are actively planning toward that day uh, even now, um, both organizationally and personally. I'm going to get my vaccine, uh, my first shot on Friday so that I can join you with unveiled face come June. But until then, for the next two months, we're going to continue to worship uh, outdoors under the oak tree with the two changes I explained of making masks optional while at your seat and giving you the lyrics uh, to hopefully um, help us engage more more fully uh, in the worship service, to have less distraction, and, and, and just have a more enjoyable time as we worship Jesus under the oak tree. Uh, it is springtime in California. This is the best time to do it. And Lord willing, a sense of normalcy and return to the building is just two months away. So let's enjoy these last two months. It's supposed to get up to 70 by the end of service this Sunday. We're going to have a great Sunday to worship Jesus. So whether you join us online or under the oak tree, look forward to seeing you on Sunday.